Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to understand difference between test scenario and test case. Now, this is very important to understand the difference between test scenario and test case because both of them go hand in hand and you will be work whenever you are working in any software testing project, you will be using them a lot and this helps this these you know two concepts of so test cases we have already understood what exactly test case is but test scenario you will listen uh, you know a lot uh, for example write the test scenario and then test case so basically you need to understand what exactly is test scenario how it is re related to test case how is it different to test case and how you apply practically these two things in any software testing project all right so let's first understand the differences between test scenario and test case because once you know the differences, you will understand where to apply which one and how both of them are correlated. All right. So if we talk about test scenario, so test scenario is very high level. OK, so test scenario is high level uh, documentation of basically what you are going to test in application. OK, so for, say, for example, I take an example of e-commerce website. Now, e-commerce website has registration functionality, has login functionality, checkout. So there are a lot of functionalities, right? Now, if in your application you have one particular functionality, say, for example, I'll take a login functionality. OK, so I'll say login functionality. Now, this login functionality, um, if we talk about the test scenario for this particular functionality, so test scenario will be very high level one liner uh, you know scenario description of what you are going to test in the login functionality okay so for example in the login functionality i want to uh, you know test uh, login with valid user and password okay then with invalid user and password OK, another scenario, then valid user, invalid password. OK, so these are just one liner descriptions of what all scenarios I'm going to cover as part of the login functionality. Right. So one liners. So when we write high level one liner description of any functionality or what we are going to test in the application, that is test scenario okay now when we talk about the test case to write a test case we refer back to the scenarios okay and test case is more detailed description of what you are going to test right so here we are understanding what we are going to test now when we convert these scenarios so basically we'll use these scenarios so with valid username and password right so this is one of the scenario that we are going to test in the login functionality now, when we write the test case for it, we describe or we describe the steps or we elaborate and we elaborate that how you are going to test this. OK, so in the test case, what you will do is you will write the steps one, two, three, four. In the step one, you will say launch the e-commerce portal in particular browser. OK, step two, click on login link step three enter a valid user and valid password step four click on login button right so these uh, this elaboration that you do for a particular scenario becomes the test case okay so this is a brief difference between the test scenario and test case so test scenario is high level one liner and explains what all you are going to test okay test case along with what you are going to test it also describes how you are going to test it describes the steps of a particular scenario all right now when we talk about the scenarios so test scenarios mostly you will be deriving from requirement documents okay so requirement documents for example software requirement uh, specification and user stories okay user stories or any documents that are available which will help you to come up with these scenarios okay so because requirements will have the detailed requirement of login and in login functionality what all 
requirements are being described for the login functionality. So with seeing the requirements, you can easily come up with one liner test scenario. So you the baseline or basically the basis for writing the test scenarios is your user stories, your requirement. OK, but in terms of test case, how you write the test case, you basically you then derive your test case based on the scenarios that you have written. So based on the SRS, you have written all these scenarios, right? And then you refer to these scenarios and you write the test case for each of these scenarios. OK, so that is the difference between test scenario and test case and how they are correlated. So you have the requirement from the requirements from the user stories. You come up with the test scenarios. Test scenarios are nothing but high level one liner description of what all you are going to test in that particular functionality. Test case is more detailed description of those scenarios. So test cases are derived from the scenarios. OK, so requirement scenarios and test case. So that's the hierarchy. OK, so you have requirement from requirement. You come up with the scenarios and from scenarios, you write the test cases, you elaborate those. OK, so this is how you actually do in the practical testing. OK, this is the flow you follow in the, any of the practical testing approach, because if you directly start writing your test cases, describing, detailing from the requirement, it most of the time you will miss a couple of steps. So this step is very important because you apply your thought process, you apply the testers mindset to basically see what all combination, what all scenarios can be tested for that particular feature. So you write all the positive, negative scenarios, just one liner, quick one. And then based on one liner scenarios, you convert those to test cases, which becomes really easy. OK, so that is the difference between the test scenario and test case, how they are related uh, among each other. OK, now next is I'll explain one of the example. OK, so let me take an e-commerce website example and I'll take a functionality of registration. OK, and let me write some of the scenarios for this registration and the test cases for that. Now, registration is one of the functionality which will be described into the software requirements or the user stories for registration. OK, so based on the user stories, what I'll do is I'll start writing the scenarios. OK, so first scenario that you can think of is, say, for example, register with email. OK, then register with Google. Right. So this is just one liner. I'm quickly writing. OK, positive scenario. So whatever registration functionality supports. So say, for example, it also supports FB so it also supports registration using Twitter account. So I'll write these four scenarios. OK, fifth scenario will we'll cover some of the negative scenarios. Right. So um, verify, you know, registration is not successful with invalid email. OK, so invalid email registration fails. OK, another scenario. So negative scenario. So this is how you will keep extending or thinking about how or what all scenarios could be possible for this particular functionality. Right now, your requirement document will explain all these things within the requirement document and you will go through the requirement document, understand those. If there are any doubts, you will go back to the business analyst and understand uh, the gaps or if there is any, you know, things that are missing in the requirement, you understand those gaps and keep extending these scenarios. So these are one liner high level scenarios written. Once you have these scenarios written, then the next step is as a test engineer, I'll pick the scenario and then I'll convert this into the test case, right? A scenario can be can have just one test case for it or there could be a scenario which is a combination of multiple test cases. OK, say, for example, a scenario at this particular level is specific to registration functionality, but a scenario for end to end scenario uh, or end to end testing could be a combination of registration, login, 
you know adding items to cart so in that particular case you write one liner uh, scenario say for example uh, successful um, checkout or successful purchase say for example right if i say um, another scenario which is end to end scenario of e-commerce website so customer should be able to purchase items successfully right so one liner scenario okay for an e-commerce purchase so customer should be able to purchase items successfully this is end-to-end -end scenario but in this particular case there are a lot of functionalities involved okay so what all is involved you need to have a registered customer right so in this particular case if i talk about the test cases that will be there within this particular scenario so there will be test case for register so there will be test case for register that you will add then you will have login with registered user right then add items then you know proceed to checkout payment and then confirmation right so just high level now these are high level functionalities that will be required to fulfill this particular scenario and if we, i'm going to have the test cases that will cover this particular scenario we'll have test cases for registration login add items proceed to checkout payment and confirmation right so all those test test cases sequentially combined will be required to cover this particular scenario okay so a scenario can have just one test case in it or a scenario can have multiple or combination of test case to cover that particular scenario in software testing so that is a very important concept that you need to cover uh, you need to understand practically right so that is why i'm trying to cover all this software testing concept with the practical approach so that you know you understand what is scenario you understand what is test case and for a particular scenario there could be you know like one test case or there could be multiple test cases to achieve that particular test scenario but the key thing is you have the requirement from the requirement you have the scenarios and based on the scenarios you write the test cases and also you write or if there is end-to-end -end scenario you basically write multiple test cases to fulfill that end-to-end -end scenario all right or in this particular case you would have already written the test cases so you just have to you know pull the existing test case to make sure that this particular scenario has been successfully tested all right or whosoever is going to test this particular scenario knows the step that he has to follow to successfully test this particular scenario all right so that's the difference between test scenario and test case how the test scenario and test case are related okay and how you come up with the test scenario from the test scenario how you derive the test cases so those are some of the key concept around test scenario and test case in software testing so that's all for this tutorial hope it was helpful please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching